It is repetition which makes for perfection. I made you? Yes. <laughs> Are you sure? It was me? Yes. Okay. All right. <laughs> Because arms are such a big prominent part of this character's physique. Bottom, bottom. Ask them what's up. They probably want to meet up for breakfast, is my guess. Yeah. They want to eat. I, unless I take this camera with me and going on here. Okay. Because I don't have black ink, I think I'm going to have it and fade out mostly to use pencils. That's kind of what I'm thinking in my head. I'm looking at reference now for his costume details. So I'm thinking maybe I could maybe it could be a pencil drawing. So what you saw there is I have I have this kind of gesture drawing. It's, it's very loose. It's got a lot of elements to it. I take this eraser and I lightly erase um, what I did there, and then I just kind of draw back over. What I raced. And by virtue of drawing a darker line over the uh, gesture line that I put down, it kind of erases the lighter line. And by erase, I mean it's still there, but the eye kind of does an auto exposure adjustment and so the lighter line kind of recedes back into space. Good morning. I'm trying to get the details of this mask just right here. So you can see I'm kind of penciling in darker and erasing at the same time. Here's the ear, so I kind of call that out. And then the neck. I think he's got to change this shape here. I kind of like that shape. It looks a little more Bane-like. So you can see <coughs> with this kind of eraser, it's just a, a stick eraser. You can kind of go in and just really uh, erase very small lines. Okay. And then he's got a zipper that runs down the middle of his mask. So I got that zipper.
And then this is kind of a lens, so I'm going to put like a double line around the, uh, the eye slot here. And so this line here represents a shadow. If there's a light source that's coming up from behind Bane, this area, like if you were drawing an egg here, that face of the egg would be in shadow like that. And so that's what this, I'm just kind of drawing the boundaries of that, that egg shadow shape. Then taking into account facial structure underneath, what I just drew. This is a fairly straightforward Bane, at least facially, the way that he's constructed. I think if I had drawn him more than once, I would probably find parts of his anatomy and his design to uh, sort of accentuate. I would think not every, every, uh, um, every, if you enter a lot of this, uh, it's 50% chance right of a black or red and it's that way even if there are 10 black numbers in a row the chances of rolling another black number are exactly a little under 50 percent doesn't change so what i'm trying to say is even if you want to sketch your chances of winning a sketch even as i said i was like what <laughs> oh I don't, uh yeah so crispy um is giving you guys some information. If you aren't a subscriber, but you are an Amazon Prime member, there's information on how you can subscribe to the channel at a discount, I believe. They give it. Twitch is owned by Amazon. Clean this up and get it done. At this point, I think it's just all anatomy and costume, right? Kind of khaki pants and boots. Am I missing anyone? Or anything, anyone. Any of you fans out there that know anything about Bane? Your mom went to get uh, Starbucks if you want. Just yeah, I checked. Okay. okay. It's 10 o'clock. We have one young adult up. And tell us this is coming out great. Sounds surprised. I'm not surprised. This whole channel is always surprised when something turns out decently. Oh. Oh, it's that character. Expectations. Uh, yes. So now you, uh, I'm doing something you, sh you shouldn't be doing, so please pay no attention to this. I'm, I'm actually rendering parts of the body um, before I've even finished sort of establishing structure elsewhere. It's really a bad idea. Bad, bad habit. Bad gym, bad gym. Um, yeah, it's a bad idea. And the reason why it's a bad idea is um, you don't want to get locked in yeah, at this point in that if I've screwed up any of the structure, I have to go back and erase all this. I'm creating more work for myself. But I feel pretty good. I feel pretty confident about what I've laid down, and I'm not going to erase. Watch me erase in like 10 minutes. But anyway, I'm thinking in my head I'm not going to be erasing, so that's why I went ahead and did it. So I'll go back to working on structure in a second. I just kind of wanted to do some rendering down here because why not? It's Sunday. It's, we're up in the mountains. There's altitude. You always feel constantly winded. Uh, the air is very dry. There's a lot of static electricity and dry air and altitude make for chap chi chap chicks. <laughs> Chapped lips, dry skin, runny noses. Stop. Old man Jim. 
That's very kind of you. Thank you. There was no drunk karaoke. My friend is a uh, he's a musician, and so we were talking about, and I'm just. I was appalling. Appalling? No, that's not a verb. I was terrifying my friends, my wife, my friends with some of my singing last night. Some Chicago. Like, woo baby, don't. But it destroyed my ability to sing. Four years old, living in Seoul, South Korea. For whatever reason, and this is just the way life was back then. Uh, I had free reign of the city. My parents just let me wander around the city by myself. And I was wandering around with a bunch of my friends at age four in the city. And I was crossing the street. And I crossed it at an inopportune time. Um, and I got hit by a truck. And I remember... Um, Luckily, the four wheels, it was the ER. And um, them stitching up my head. So I've got on the side of your head to hold your head in place. So I, that was my, 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 my brush with death. But it robbed me of my ability to sing, as you can tell. In my head, it sounds great. It's like full-time disco concert going on here. All right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do the veinage and all that kind of stuff last, guys. Who cares about it anymore? Slash Jim Lee. <gasps> okay. Right. If you just notice, I just basically drew the leather gloves and that kind of basically fleshed out, basically. Use that word too much. Um, the rest of that hand here. That thumb casts a shadow over that index finger. here I think it's got like a no not in that one but uh, in some drawings I've seen them with like a strap across that bicep so I'm not including it there if I had ink, all this area underneath here would be going to black. Since I don't have ink, but I do have a pencil, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to do it in gray. So this is the kneecap. I'm kind of, in my head of constructed this kneecap, I just drew it for you guys so you can see what I'm doing here. So there's, there's like this wedged-like thing here. There's a muscle that basically sits right on top of here. Some muscles that allow you to in induct their inductor muscles I think I don't know they allow you to pull your leg in and out okay the calf goes here he's wearing a boot so I'm gonna put the edge of that boot there there are all these shoelaces that would be lovely to draw but I'm not going to because I'm going to take everything to black and he's standing in that pit of garbage and refuse. Same thing, the kneecap comes here. And you see the back end of the, um, the calf. Okay. And the idea is what happens if the shadow of his body comes across and covers all this in the shadow. Okay. I'm going 
can raise this up a little bit. It's a rather large drawing. This is on the, the board that I draw comics on. So you can see. This would have taken about two seconds, I think, with ink. And then there's this fist here, and that fist, an arm forearm, will cast a shadow across that thigh. The reason why I keep these lines parallel and somewhat uh, somewhat parallel is that it creates some energy, even though it's a static image, and then it also suggests that maybe there's like wind or you know some movement in the atmosphere. In the atmosphere. <laughs> um, so again, I'm creating a little bit of a dynamic kind of element to it all, even though it's a static image. I'm going to check chat, and there's someone that's going to be like, wow, this turned out okay after all. Not too bad. At some point, when we get m more new people to come, they'll be like, oh my gosh. Well, I'm hoping that they would go, oh my gosh, that they would actually be appreciative of what's being done here. Powered by, not powered by any coffee. It's done in a coffee-less delirium. And they would go like, oh, that's pretty cool. I'm hoping they would say. And then everyone else in chat's like, what's up with you, bro? It's okay. It turned out okay, I guess. I think that just would be kind of funny. <laughs> it's just a pity. All right. Here's the hardest part of this drawing. And it's the hardest part because I've already drawn all these other parts, so there's really no looking, no turning back. I'm stuck. Will he make it, folks? Will he be able to tie it all together if he draws a fist right here with a thumb that's a shadow across an index finger? Index finger, middle finger, ring finger, pinky. That awesome pinky finger. sure these are roughly the same size close enough this muscle here first I just realized for a lot of, a lot of you guys are going like ooh the sound of pencil and paper I'm like what are these alright so let me just finish this up those three people that had uh, selected before, did they ever submit character names of things they wanted to see drawn? So I could put it to a poll. Lefts, you tell me. There we go. Now I've got the song stuck in my head. Ooh, baby, please don't go. <laughs> oh my gosh. I am, you don't know how hard it is for me to hold, hold back, unleashing. I, I'm, I am literally like friggin' Black Bolt, dude. If I utter a single sound. Of a song, your ears will start bleeding. Your backs will break. Your children will scream. Your ancestors will crawl out of their graves. It is, whew, it would be very bad. It's their bad. Molto, molto bad. Oh. 
I don't like this leg here at all. I'm just going to move it up a little bit. Or maybe I'll just black it out. When in doubt, black it out. Okay. I don't know, when was that song? Is that the 80s? 70s. I don't know what. That was the era. I want to say I was immune to. I was not into disco, but I was. Like everyone, disco, punk, all that stuff. Donna Summers. And now I'm just doing the shadows. Mark, let's make this look. Hey. Was it crowded down there? Is it that one day? Thank you. Okay. I just dropped this last shadow in here. Got to do all the uh, the vintage. Okay, here we go. I knew there was something missing. I really should put a a curling thing in his hand here. Olympics joke, if anyone knew that. <laughs> Crispy. I'll get you later. My jokes really, they're not the ha-ha laugh-out-loud jokes. My jokes are the ones that hit you later when you're driving and you and you're reflecting upon this stream. You go, oh. He was making a curling joke about that Russian curler who they caught doping. Unagizilla. Definitely not. I should probably put like zits on his back. Hold on, let me see all these. Where all these uh, veins go? All right. Now that was funny. I would have liked to have met Bob Ross. That would have been kind of cool. I've been able to meet a lot of people that was into as a kid. I used to watch Bob Ross Sunday mornings on PBS and I would then try to imitate kind of what he taught me, obviously very, very poorly, of course, but it was always very inspiring to see that he could just break down things that we thought were trees or mountains and show you 
that really it's just uh, blobs. And if you get the blob just right, the human mind will, will fill it in and basically make it look like a tree. And you start understanding that art is really about abstraction, even if you're trying to draw something realistic. It kind of blows your mind, actually. And I would say that the more you actually try to draw something like it really is, the less the mind comprehends. It's sort of like the uncanny valley a little bit. It's almost like if you put too many details of something in and not abstract it, the human mind refuses to, to see it for what it is. All right. Trying to make it look like there's like uh, some atmosphere kind of flowing through. This is a very advanced technique. I don't suggest you guys doing this. I could see all these drawings with weird lines, and people are like, What is that? Well, I saw Jim do it in his stream. It's wispy stuff. It's like the uh, visual equivalent of <coughs> ASMR. I'm just going to darken some of these values here to make it consistent. All right. Someone said this fist was bigger than the other. I agree, and so I'm just going to shrink it down here. I'm going to do a little fistectomy. Fist fist and I'll also pull it in a little bit more because it was almost kind of falling off that person, his wrist there. Did we figure out what three characters I was going to put into the poll? I wish to thank you for your kind reception and bid you a fond farewell.